get to drive a lot of cars around the greater Los Angeles area. Most of them are full-blown sports cars with sleek bodies, massive engines, and tons of built-in sex appeal. Why is it then that we had more people gawking and pointing at us in our lipstick pink Nissan Cube than anything we've ever driven? It could be due to the Cube's newness. True, Nissan has built two generations of older, boxier, and much more utilitarian cubes in Japan for more than 10 years, but this is the first time that one's been on sale here in America. And all that can't be due to the shape, as Honda Elements and Cyan XBs are old hat by this point. It could be the color, which Nissan calls Scarlet Red, but the fact of the matter is, everybody, and we mean everybody, was staring at our cube because it was so... weird. Squares aren't exactly the sexiest shape under the sun, and Nissan has managed to mix that motif with avoid passenger windows and a wraparound rear windshield. There's also a ripple effect found on the roof and side body panels. In a word, the cube is just different, and really, really, dare we say it, cute. The one feature that none of us could get over is the shag dash topper, which is nothing but a round piece of shag carpet velcroed on top of the dash. Why? Why not? The Shag Dash topper is part of a $230 option pack that includes rippled floor mats and door bungees that we suppose you could hang your sunglasses from. So yes, it's very different and very cute, and girls seem to especially love it. But how does it drive? Quite well, believe it or not. The Cube isn't going to win any races, but if comfort's your thing, look no further. From the cushy seats to the softly sprung chassis, the Cube is perfect for lounging around town. The newest Nissan shares its platform with a surprisingly capable Versa, so despite the Lazy Boy shock tuning, there's still a bit of sport buried underneath. The 1.8 liter, 122 horsepower inline 4 is also shared with the Versa, and had no trouble bopping the cube around town, be it on the city street or freeway. Though, we would opt for the 6-speed manual instead of the continuously variable transmission. After a week in Nissan's new urban runabout, we're happy to report that we wouldn't mind another week. It's fun, eccentric, and to a certain extent, quite practical. While our fully optioned tester sticker price of $22,780 was a bit steep, strip cubes can be had for under 14 grand. Though, we'd recommend saving up an additional 230 for the interior design pack. The cube just wouldn't be a cube without the Shag Dash topper.